the Sea Hunter USV became the first ship to autonomously navigate from San Diego, California to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, and back without a single crew member on board. Sea Hunter is an autonomous unmanned surface vehicle launched in 2016 as part of the DARPA Anti-Submarine Warfare Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessel, or ACTIVE program. In the context of a pre-deployment exercise involving an entire carrier strike group, the French Navy aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle set a new record. No less than 35 aircraft, including 30 Rafale Marine fighter aircraft, were aboard. All aircraft were lined up on the flight deck for the occasion. The French CSG should leave Toulon Naval Base in early March for a deployment of several months, which will take it all the way to Southeast Asia. Ministry of the Armed Forces announced that a French Navy Rafale M fighter aircraft test fired a Meteor air-to-air -air missile for the first time on the 13th of February 2019. Meteor offers a multi-shot capability against long-range maneuvering targets and heavy electronic countermeasures environment with a range well in the excess of 100 kilometers. The Republic of Singapore Navy's first Type 218SG Invincible Class submarine was launched on February 18th at the ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems Shipyard in Kiel, Germany. Invincible is the first of four customized submarines designed for operations in Singapore's shallow and busy tropical waters. Displacing 2,200 tons, these submarines will have the speed in excess of 15 knots in the water. They are 70 meters long and 6.3 meters in diameter. The Australian government signed the Attack Class Submarine Strategic Partnering Agreement with French shipbuilder Naval Group, a project worth over $35 million and tying the two parties for the next 50 years. This contract is the largest defense contract ever awarded by the Australian government and the largest defense contract ever awarded to a European defense company. Construction on the first ship of the class is expected to start in 2023 and its delivery should take place in the early 2030s. That ship, USS Tulsa, was commissioned into the U.S. Navy during a ceremony in San Francisco on February 16. USS Tulsa is the 15th littoral combat ship and the 8th of the Austral-built Independence class. Littoral combat ships are high-speed, agile, shallow draft, mission-focused surface combatants designed for operations in the littoral environment, yet fully capable of open ocean operations. Turkish defense electronics company, Aselsan, unveiled a video showing the first live fire test of its next generation AESA radar called Shafrad. The video shows an ESSM surface-to-air missile fired from the Turkish Navy frigate, Göksu, hit a target drone. Conducted in mid-December 2018, this was the first live fire test involving the Shafrad system which eliminated the target drone to guide the missile. Chantier de l'Antique and Naval Group were awarded a contract for the design and construction of four logistic support ships for the French Navy. Known as BRF for Force Replenishment Vessel, the four ships will be based on the Italian Navy Volcano class. These future tankers will carry fuel for vessels, jet fuel for aircraft, weapons and ammunition, spare parts, as well as food. The ships will also be equipped with waste management solutions and repair workshops. The Hellenic Navy is gradually changing the camouflage of its fast attack craft vessels, as noted in pictures from recent exercises. The new pattern includes four different shades between gray and dark blue-gray in random shapes. The pattern first appeared in 2017 when a law combatant three fast attack craft was painted and tested for a period of one year. 
This helps reduce the detectability of vessels in the closed Aegean Sea with its numerous islands, islets, and rock islands.